Okay, so I tied it around there and I tied these two together. Let's bring all our stuff with us again. Don't know how much of this we need, but better to have some than not. Ouch. I was thinking we could go this way, but really, this way is probably better. No, well, this is gonna do, I guess. Oh, well, let's add another one here. Okay, so I decided I would bring it this way because look at what we have right here. A hammock. A very, very long hammock. It does not need to be so long, of course. got several years worth of leaves in it. Three years, maybe. Look at the bottom of those. I mean, it really turned into soil, didn't it? Isn't that great? Anyway, so... Here's this very big, long hammock. Kind of cool. It'd be better to make it shorter. Oh, well, we'll leave it there. Okay, so I thought I would let it end right here. And then maybe... I don't know which way from here. Should we go under the hammock? And down? We could. What do you think? I, I should probably take it over there and attach it to that one. Maybe I should go from this tree to that tree and around. Yeah, I suppose that would be best. Okay, so let's get another rope. Yeah, I exchanged that big long one there for a shorter one. And I have from here to here is not going to have one. So I'm over to here. And let us carry on. Take my chops with us. And we'll come down to this tree here. And we'll easily go down to that tree over there. Okay, I I did a few things. I removed the big long rope that went down to the top of the down over to the to the pond. And I redid it. And I have it so it's routed so that you come straight down to the long hammock. And then two feet away is the other tree. So you go between those two trees and then you follow that one across and then it comes down and there's a deer trail right there. So it doesn't go across it, it lays down. So that when the deer are here, when the deer are up and down, it's not going to be a problem. Then it continues on the other side of the path, comes down to here, and now, because of this, see there's a wire here. It's hooked to that. And that was from the old the people that ran maple syrup lines across. So this one is buried completely. It's on the ground on this side all the way. But that one's still up high. So this is actually a better place to cross because you don't have to climb across the wire. I think it's good. Now we'll go along this lovely bush tree whose bark needs to be retrieved. Another one there. All right, well, I think we'll have to tie this on this side of the tree. So we'll go around the tree on this side. Maybe I don't want to go down those real steep spots. I don't know if you can tell, but right there it's very steep. It's a drop off. This is better on that side. And this is going to put us right out into the meadow. Huh. I wonder if we could just go this way. All that way over there. No, it's possible. Oh, well, let's see what we got with our wires now, our threads. 